Good morning. Good morning. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Monday morning. All right. As you can see, we are in different location uh, actually this week and maybe next week as well. I'm taking a little break from heat. Okay. Uh, if you don't know, is, any, is anybody went to like Tucson, Arizona or maybe Phoenix? Uh, they're pretty hot. Okay. It's pretty hot there. Uh, comes to Fahrenheit, right now you are pushing 110, 110 uh, Fahrenheit. That's like equivalent to about 42, 43 Celsius. Uh, what a beautiful morning though. It's about, what time is it right now? Hold on. What is the time? Uh, current time is about just, just before 7 a.m. In, I'm, I'm in uh, Flagstaff, Arizona. It's about beautiful temperature though. It's about what, 50, uh, 60 degree outside, as you can see from here. Let me flip the camera. Um, so I got my windows open. Yeah, just, yeah, just pleasant. Okay, let's put it that way. I just finished with my Instagram session. So there is a lot of tools out there, especially flat bottom paper. I think even cone shaped paper as well. And I mean, is anybody seen this? All right. Anybody seen these coffee tools? So this one is made for Oria. Okay, it's called a negotiator. All right. I'm gonna show you how to how to use it. So this is uh, so this is one for MK Dripper. Okay. So MK Dripper is uh, designed by IBS MK Studio in Denmark, and uh, it's very uh, small studio in Denmark. So what happened was a couple of years ago, uh, the Ileka Lefty, uh, uh, he used uh, this brewer uh, during his competition. Actually, he won the competition. And then after that, you know, you know, you got pretty famous, let's put it that way, okay? They got very popular. But uh, very unique, flat bottom paper, extremely fast, and also, you know, pretty to look at, okay? This is beautiful to look at, all right? So earlier today, I brewed with Orea V3, okay. Another flat bottom paper. I've been really enjoying the flat bottom paper lately, all right. And even like Stack X as well. Stack makes pre, uh, fellow makes pretty good uh, brewer too. Hold on. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming. I got my uh, laptop over there so I can see your, all your comments. Hold on. Is there anybody? Hold on a second. We got Kenny's on this morning as well. Can we have uh, Orant, Linda, Sergeant? That's who else? Uh, Dylan is always on. We got the two scripts. E Fox. Okay. Okay. E Fox said that MK shape has a rise bottom. Yeah, for the new MK shape. So pretty much with the negotiator. Usually flat, uh, flat bottom, but with the MK, you have to be having this kind of different shape for that as well. So this one is uh, designed by Raymond. Okay, Raymond has uh, his own website as well. And he just, uh, if you're gonna, in I don't think he has a YouTube channel, but he does have an Instagram page as well. So he designed it. <clears throat> if not, uh, go to Thingiverse, okay? Go to Thingiverse, so you can actually down. If you have a 3D print, you can download this. Uh, I already brewed with Aurea earlier. I used a 13 gram dose, so let's use that with uh, MK this morning. Okay, MK Ripper. Just pop that thing in with your flat bottom paper. There, just pop that thing here. And you smash it, okay? And spin it and smash it, all right? So you're gonna become kind of like, I don't wanna say become a no bypass, but that's kind of theory behind that, right? Because with it just a, a regular clear at 185, you're gonna have a lot of bypass, okay? With the smash to the sides, it's gonna be a lower the bypass for sure. So I'm just gonna spin it around, make nice everything flat to the side. And that what I like to do is I like to add some water, okay? Hold on here, let me show you. Let me show you what I do with it. 
Uh, ideally, I like to use the hot water over there, but we're gonna do that, okay? But before, I'm just gonna make everything nice and flat. Just a little bit of water, okay? And then you're gonna smash it one more time. They have all uh, different, I know some negotiator out there. Uh, shout out to Mike. The Mike designed it wire back. Inside the negotiator has a hose in it. So you can actually put the water, all right, through the top of the negotiator. But uh, again, there's different designs. So. Okay, we got that set up going. And then let's grind some coffee beans. Uh, we're gonna do what, 13 gram. Okay, let's do 13 gram. I'm using my uh, Easy Presser GP6. Comes to grind size, you know, I pre, uh, pre fine, okay. Three, uh, three and a half. Now let's go four, okay. Yeah, four, four is good. All right. Also, Mr. Rainbow just popped in as well. Uh, we are doing the morning session. Okay, and uh, uh, at some point we're gonna make some flat white this morning. So, right now we are doing the pour over. Comes to pour over coffee, hand grinder uh, works fine. But if you're planning on doing espresso on your hand grinder, yeah, forget it. That's way too much work. Way too much work there. Let's see here. All right. You know what? Let's put some coffee. Okay. So this coffee earlier, I used a uh, 13 gram with Oreo V3. I use a Say coffee. Uh, I think I uh, used that the other day as well. Brazil. Orange blossom and red tea, uh, very, very tasty and clean. Okay, hold on. Water's ready over there, so let's flip the camera back. Let's brew some coffee. Again, if you're joining us for the first time, yeah, welcome to live streaming. Okay, and uh, that's what we do every single day. We just hang out, brew some coffee. Yeah, the thing about the up in the mountain is about 7,000 foot high up. The water temperature is going to be tricky, okay, because the boiling temp is at around 92 Celsius. I'm just gonna heat up here. I'm gonna do fine art push. Okay. Left over water, water. I'm just gonna dump it. All right, I'm using the fellow tally scale. I'm gonna do the brew assist mode. I'm gonna be using one to 18 ratio, okay. Shout out to Mr. Rainbow for the super sticker. All right, I got 12.9, 13 gram. Closing up. All right, here we go. I'm gonna tear it. Once I press that button here, okay. And then once I start adding, well, then we have a JD for the super sticker as well. Shout out to JD and Mr. Rainbow. Here we go. I think I screwed up, guys. It's gonna be 230 gram. I'm gonna wait about 30 seconds. 
because you don't want to you, you don't want to tear it. That's the problem. Yeah, press that button instead. I'm gonna wait about thirty seconds. We are doing the blooming phase right now. There we go. Second pull. I'm gonna second pull pretty hard, right in, right in the middle. Okay, go out about one twenty. Uh, let's go one thirty. Use my spoon. I'm just gonna go nicely, clean up the side. I want to hit about a minute mark there. Uh, a third pull here, clean up the side here one more time. You're gonna go all the way to 230. So this is about 1 to 18 ratio. Slowly, guys. That's it. Pretty easy uh, recipe to follow. I'm gonna do a final kind of clean up, if you want to say. And the brew time should be about three minutes. Um, that's what I'm trying to shooting for right now, about three minutes for my brew time. All right. Oh, okay, we just wait. Okay, wait and see. But meantime, like a take a look at your. Okay. Man, you know what? The I mean, think about you know whenever you getting a little older. I'm I'm fifties now. Your eyesight, okay, especially your near sight is gonna go bad. So, man, hold on a second here. We have. Uh, JD, uh, yep, shout out to JD and Mr. Rainbow for the super sticker there. And then we have uh, Nunes ask me, yeah, that's the new fellow, it's called Tali Scale, okay. Uh, kind of do the math for you. I think it's great for if you own a coffee shop too. And uh, just kind of like tell you when to stop. Uh, even home as well. So, I mean, initially, you're going to have a sticker shock, okay. But once you start using it more, you can start to see why they are so expensive. Okay. Shout out to Leopold with another super sticker. Let's see here. Uh, George, you asked me, you know what? Okay. I mean, I, I think yesterday I did a video on that, right? You know, my ridiculous, my vacation coffee bar setup. I mean, it is, it, it is a bit much. I have to say, okay, do not, don't be like me, all right, I have to say, do not be like me, it comes to bring your uh, coffee gear, but, I mean, I mean, it is a lot of fun, okay, I have to say, about three minutes and 50 seconds, I'm going to stop the time here, three minutes and 50 seconds for uh, this bro, 280, uh, 200, I stop at two, uh, about, about 230, okay, So let's uh, compare that with uh, Aurea. I mean, it should, it should be the same, okay? Because same ratio, same coffee, same water temperature as well. So only thing difference is the brewer, all right? One is MK and one is Aurea, so. Here we go, guys. Uh, happy Monday. If, wow. Here's the thing about the brewers. Identical uh, recipe, pretty much the identical recipe. Everything's the same except the brewer. Some reason, the MK is more cleaner, okay? A cleaner taste. I mean, don't get me wrong, Oreo is so clean as well. But something about the MK is different, okay? So it's not like which one is better, okay? So every brewers are different. 
So if you were, I mean, that's the reason why I've been collecting a lot of brewers over the years, because every brewers are su such unique about it, even B60. Okay, B60 is also very unique as well. I mean, Aurea is very unique, MK is unique, goodness, even April. Man, even like uh, B75 from Timers. B75 is about, is about seven bucks, okay? And also bring out the unique flavor too. And the top of that, uh, like people come up with uh, this very unique design, different way to make coffee. Okay, so because, so this flat bottom paper used to be just, uh, you know, 180, clear 185, you know, a lot of bypass there. So they want to be more like V60. So you think about it. So you have flat bottom w wants to be a V60 in a way, okay, and lower the uh, bypass. So what does that mean, right? That's something, you know, I mean, that's why if you're a coffee hobbyist, I mean, making coffee is very interesting. Okay. I and mean, you have some really fun with it because, I mean, just like coffee, I mean, this coffee tastes like tea, if you ask me. All right. Very bright, fruity. But same time, if you want to drink tea, why don't you drink tea instead, right? If I'm going to give this coffee to a friend of mine, or person next door here. They have no idea what this is. Okay, maybe they think they are drinking tea. But in fact, this is the uh, wash coffee from Brazil. So, again, it's like, that's why coffee is such interesting hobby to have. And I do have a really good time with it. Hold on a second. So, JD just made a as, Asthmatic Flow V60. Man, see again, there's another brewing method. We have a Linda. Yeah, so Linda, yeah, Linda likes decaf. Okay. Linda likes decaf there. Let's see here. Anyway, again, so I'm going to be here uh, in Flagstaff for the next uh, couple of weeks or so. Uh, we're going to do a lot more uh, outdoor uh, coffee making. So I'm going to some point. I'm going to take you guys to the lake uh, down the street. Okay, it's not that far from here. So that's uh, it's been a lot of snow uh, last winter, so they have lots of water. So yeah, we're going to do some outdoor uh, coffee making, and I have to, you have to see my what I brought for my outdoor uh, brewing device. And I need to unbox. Not only I brought my pro. Robert Brewster Pro, Flare 58, and also I brought uh, the grinder too. I brought uh, my P64 at the same time. So, so I think I'm uh, comes to coffee bar setup. I mean that is preset, okay, for vacation. But only thing you need on vacation. I mean, if you have a, a space, right? If you have the space in your car. Uh, wherever you go, if you have a like, little bit of coffee bar set up there, just bring your Express, okay, or Pro. And uh, I'm not even bothered to box those. I'm just going to put that, you know, my Pro back of my trunk. You know, it's tower over it. Just put some tower on it. And that's it. Just lift it. And wherever you go, just put that there. Uh, comes to tours wise, you know, I don't bring a lot of tours. I just bring my temper. And so um, uh, my 3D dosing funnel, that's it. That's all I need. All right. I mean, don't go, to, don't go too crazy. Okay. And they just uh, don't even bother bringing a coffee. Just go to local coffee shops there. Just, you know, get one of those bags. I mean, you'd be set. So I'm, I'm planning on going to the local coffee shop sometime today. Check out some of their light roast. And then, I'm, you know, I have plenty of dark uh, here. So I'm tr uh, trying to check out some dark ro uh, light roast. All right, hold on a second here. We have, uh, I think we are pretty good for this morning. Make sure, don't forget the thumbs up, okay? Uh, hold on, someone asked me, do you, uh, do you still use a puck paper? Uh, what if I do light roast? Yeah, I uh, wonder if I do light roast, I use the uh, paper. Because, uh, you know, I want more cleaner taste. But what if I do like dark roast? No, I pretty much I skip it. Uh, because, you know, I want the oil, okay? I want the oil whenever I'm making uh, duck roast. 
like Americano. I really enjoy that. All right, I think we are we are good there for this morning. Uh, I'll be back later for sure. Okay, we're gonna make some uh, flat white in about an hour or so. Let's do flat white, and then maybe this afternoon let's do some espresso as well. Hold on, Chico. What, what Chico say? I have a app that called Aromatic. Aromatic showcase on the AeroPress recipe using the flat bottle. Bro, most time. Oh, goodness. Interesting there. Aromatic app. I never heard that. All right. I got to check it out. I got to check out. Check it out for sure. That sounds really good. Okay. Steve asked me, uh, did I bring my mocha pot? No, you know, I thought about mocha pot. Too messy. Okay. I mean, that's great, but it's messy to clean. Uh, because if you're on vacation, you know, you don't want to be too messy. You know, this is not my house, so, yeah, I want to just keep it clean. You want to have, because you're going to have a lot of coffee grinds. Doesn't matter how much you want to keep it clean. So, yeah, you, I'm trying to have less. Okay, I think we are good for this morning. Again, if you're planning on going on vacation this summer, if you have the space, yeah, bring your uh, coffee machine, okay? Yeah, just go bring it. You know, you're going to have some... You're going to save a lot of money. Uh, because I have a family of four. I mean, three of us drink coffee in the morning. So, you set you back, what, at least $6 per cup. If you go out, that's $15. I mean, it depends on the, how long you are staying in your vacation spot. So, sometimes you're going to spend some money, okay? But if you bring your Express or Pro, uh, comes to water... Uh, I just use the, uh, just filter water, okay, and that's it, and then for my pour over coffee, I just uh, bring my, uh, just go to grocery store, get a distilled water, just bring your uh, pack of your, you know, third wave water or perfect water there, just mix it, you're going to have very nice uh, water, uh, if not, just get a, you know, spring water as well, just get a spring water from grocery store, one, one dollar, buck fifty or so. So, and then just go to a local coffee shop, you know, try some different coffee. I think, uh, I mean, that's pretty, uh, I think that's pretty affordable. Okay, let's put it that way. And then you get to have really nice coffee in the morning. I mean, just the way you like, right? Just the way you like. All right, folks. Uh, if you are living in the United States, I know this is a long weekend for you, 4th of July weekend. Uh, but if you are other parts of the world, I know you guys are working right now. Uh, don't work too hard, okay? Don't work too hard. I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning and see you guys in about a couple of hours.